Hi, this is Gary. You're watching a uh, math tutorial on an introduction uh, to triangles. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the different types of triangles that are listed below there. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover their uh, properties, and I'm going to uh, draw an example of each one. So let's go ahead and get started on this here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shrink this down. The uh, first type of triangle we're going to cover is an acute triangle. And an acute triangle I've drawn below there is where every angle of the triangle is less than 90 degrees. So uh, we could have, I'm going to draw 80, uh, I'm going to draw another angle is 40 degrees, and I'm going to draw another angle is 60 degrees. If you add all that together, uh, 80 plus 40 plus 60, that equals 180 degrees. Uh, and our, remember, when we're doing triangles, all the angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So you can't have uh, a 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, and 20 degree angle. That, that won't work for a triangle. So basically, an acute triangle is where every angle of the triangle is less than 90 degrees. The next triangle we're looking at is an equal lateral triangle. Now, an equal lateral triangle has uh, several property or a couple properties to it. Uh, first off, every angle of the triangle is equal, or uh, better known as 60 degrees, because 60 to have every angle equal, uh, you've got to have all three angles equal 180. And the only way you can do that is to divide 180 by 3, which would be 60. So every angle of the triangle is equal to 60 or 60 degrees, and every side of the triangle is equal in length as well. Now I'm going to draw a triangle below here, and we have three sides. They're all equal, and all the angles are equal. I'm going to put an angle there, 60, another angle, 60, and a third angle, 60. We're going to draw points A, point B, and point C. Now, I'm going to have line AB equal 4, line BC equal 4, and line AC is going to equal 4 as well. Uh, basically, uh, line AB equals line BC, which equals line AC. Uh, in other words, uh, every side of the triangle is going to be equal in length, and every angle of the triangle is going to be equal. Uh, or 60 degrees. And uh, this, by definition, is an equilateral triangle. The next type of triangle we're going to look at is an isosceles triangle. And an isosceles triangle has two properties. The uh, first property is that uh, two angles of the triangle are equal. The second property is that uh, two sides of the triangle are equal in length. And we're going to take a look at that here when I draw one. I've got an isosceles triangle there. Now I've got uh, sides A, B, C, and uh, I have three different angles there, or three angles there. Uh, angle uh, B, A, C is 70, angle B, C, A is 70, and angle A, B, C is 40. Now if you add them all together, 70 plus 70 plus 40 equals 180. So basically, uh, with an isosceles triangle, the first property is that uh, two angles of the triangle are equal. And in this case, angle BAC is going to equal angle BCA. So those, those two angles are going to be equal there, and they are because they're both 70. And I've circled those there. Now, the second property of an isosceles triangle is uh, that the two sides of the triangle are equal in length. And in this case, uh, side AB is going to equal side BC. I'm going to draw a line from AB and draw a line from BC. Those two sides are going to be equal in length. And uh, those are the properties of an isosceles uh, triangle. An obtuse triangle is actually fairly simple compared to some of the other ones. And that is basically uh, an obtuse triangle is where one angle of the triangle is greater than 90 degrees. So it, one of the angles is actually larger than 90 degrees. I'm going to draw one right down there on the bottom. And uh, I've got points A, points B, points C. Now uh, angle ACB 
point A, point C, point B, or that angle is going to equal 120 in this case. So that's greater than 90. And I've got the other two angles listed here. And this would be an example of an obtuse triangle. And make, just make sure that all your, when you're doing a triangle, make sure that all your points add up to 180. I've got 120 30, plus 30 plus 30, that equals 180 degrees. And that is an example of an obtuse triangle there. Now a uh, right triangle is uh, pretty straightforward and the property of a right triangle is basically uh, one angle is uh, 90 degrees. And I'm going to draw a triangle below here, uh, list points A, B, and C. Now if you'll notice below, uh, angle A, B, C is uh, 90 degrees. And uh, that would be an example of a uh, right triangle. The uh, last triangle we're going to cover is a scalene triangle, and a scalene triangle has a couple properties. The uh, first property is that each side has a different length. Uh, the next property is that uh, each angle has a different measurement. So each side has a different length and each angle has a different measurement. I'm going to draw a scalene below there. Now if you'll notice in this example, I've got uh, three different angles. And uh, they all add up to 180, obviously. I've got angles A, or uh, side points A, point B, and point C. Now uh, I'm going to list the angles I have here. ABC equals 85. Angle uh, BAC equals 60. Angle BCA equals uh, 35 degrees. Now basically all those angles, or each angle, has a different uh, measurement. Now for the next property of a scalene trial, or the, or the first property we listed here, is that uh, each side has a different length. And um, I'm going to draw some lengths here. Uh, I've got AB listed as 5, I've got AC listed as 8, and I've got BC listed as 7. And uh, if you'll notice, each one of those lengths are different. And this would be an example of a scalene triangle. Thank you for uh, watching the tutorial.